Can you describe what was going on today? Um, tonight we were linking that black history matters and also black lives matter. They're wanting to demolish the John Sunday house, which has historically been here and is part of black Pensacola's history and Pensacola's history in general. Um, and we also wanted to honor um, our victims that we've recently had a police brutality and also the police who have had to die at the hands of all of this having to happen, people taking advantage of that. So it was just a unifying type thing today. Unifying the community. All right, cool. And um, why is it important to have uh, like just events like this to have in the community? It's, it's important because um, it's basically us wanting to show Pensacola that sometimes when they're in their feelings about national news that they're not alone in how they feel and that we are able to come forward and we're able to get things done in our community together and not alone and feel helpless about it. Gotcha. And uh, I saw there's a so many speakers. Can you say what kind of like, what kind of speakers were on this event today? Um, well, we did have um, we had Pearl, who is the great granddaughter of John Sunday, that was at the house today. We had John, who is part of the John Sundays Society. Um, he spoke. Also, we had um, people that are just part of our community, Robert Bouchard, um, as well as Alexis Palmer, who is the founder of Ruby and Pearls for Girls. Um, and we had other community members and UWF students. Um, for the most part, everybody just loves Pensacola and wants to see Pensacola do great. Perfect. And you kind of mentioned this before, but what what, do you have a, what are your what is your goal for having events like this? My goal is to show that Pensacola can unify and that we don't have to be bigger, we don't have to be divisive, that we can come together and worry about certain issues without it feeling like it's divisive. It's to give clarity to what's really going on. Okay. Do you have any plans, like another um, event like this? There's always things in the making. Um, as of right now, though, um, my focus is on the mental health of our community. Um, so I'm focusing on specifically um, black mental health because there is a disparity of us not getting the help that we need when it comes to mental health. Um, so I have created a safe haven online, and that would be Black Pensacola Safe Haven. Um, and also, it's just for us to be a support group, and we will be having some of those coming up in the future.